Hello, gang. And welcome. Here we are in the fitness room at SCC. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Jake Zinn. I'm the Tai Chi instructor here at SCC. And welcome to a series of YouTube videos. We should have about four or five of these where um, we're going to play around. We're going to learn some Tai Chi together and uh, do some Qigong warm-ups and stuff like that. So before we get started with our Tai Chi, just a couple of real easy rules for everybody. If you've never done this kind of thing before, the first thing to remember is that we're going to be working toward one another. All right, so you're going to want to stand back from your viewing surface, your tablet, your laptop, your TV, if you can do that. Okay, you got YouTube TV. Um, you're going to want to stand back about four to five feet because I'm going to take about four steps towards you. Okay, before I disappear. And then we're also going to be moving back away from each other. Now, nice wide space. We're probably going to move a couple of feet to either side. All right. The other thing we want to remember is that these videos are being shot using a technique known as mirror imaging. What the heck is that? Well, let's say we're all standing, we're facing each other in class. You're looking at me, I'm looking at you, and you say, I want to ask a question. I say in my class, to ask a question, you got to raise your left hand. Now, you guys know that that's my right hand, right? But for purposes of these videos, this is your left. We're going that way left, this way right. We're also going to be standing in the center of a large clock. So, if I tell you to move toward 12 o'clock, I'm telling you to move toward me because I'm going to move toward you. If we want to move toward 6, we're going to move back. If I tell you to move, now let's try a tricky one. If I tell you to move toward 10 o'clock, that would be off on an angle to the left. So we're going to go out this way. Okay, there's our 10 o'clock. Our 2 o'clock, of course, would be over here. All right? Each class we do, we're going to start off just like we would in a regular live class. We're going to start off with some Qigong. We're going to take a break halfway through. Each one of these hour-long, 50 to 55 minute classes is going to encompass two separate series of movement. Okay? But the first thing we want to do is go ahead and get the body prepped, get it warmed up for this first hour class. And you can do these in 30 minute segments or you could do a whole hour at a time. We'll have at least two of them to start, all right? So I'm gonna stand back just a little bit. And what I'd like y'all to do is put those feet together. We're gonna to run this like a regular class. In my class, we always like to greet each other. We're gonna bring those hands up, prayerful pose, and we wanna take a little bow. Namaste. Namaste means the spirit in me honors the spirit in you. It's just my way of saying hi. So let's do this, everybody. Step out with that left foot to the side, and we're gonna begin with some very easy Qigong movements. Now, if you're not familiar with Qigong, it's kind of a precursor to Tai Chi. It looks like this. Just relax your knees. Bring your hands, palms up under your belly, and I want you to breathe in. Bring the hands up to your chest, and as you breathe out, let the hands float toward your ceiling. Now turn your palms toward each other. We're gonna breathe in, go out to the sides. As you breathe out, we're gonna push forward toward our screen. Then palms will face the floor. We're gonna draw our hands into our chest. We're gonna breathe in, and then we're gonna breathe out, okay? Let's do that again, breathing in. Breathing out. If you want, you can kind of look up toward the ceiling. And breathe in, and then we'll breathe out. Then we'll breathe in, pull in, and we'll breathe out push down. Everything we do is very slow. Breathing in and breathing out. And it's also really soft. So we just want to be relaxed. You notice why I'm not locking my arms at all. Breathing in and then we can breathe out. Breathing in, pushing down, breathing out. Qigong is a body and breath exercise. Let's breathe in. Breathe out. It helps to get the energy of the body kind of stirred up and ready for everything we're going to do. Breathing in. Going to breathe out. Float forward. Going to breathe in. And breathe out. Let's float those hands down to the top of our thighs. And then we're going to breathe in. We're going to lift. Fingers up. Going to breathe out. Push it down. Breathing in. Breathing out. Now, if you're good at YouTube and you just want to log into this first video and just do these movements, 
This is a beautiful way to wake the body up first thing in the morning. Breathing out. Going to breathe in. Going to breathe out. Let's do it again. Breathing in. And breathing out. And again, Qigong are just energy exercises helping to wake up the body. Let's bring the hands right up here to the chest. As you breathe in, what I'd like you to do is take those hands out to your shoulders. And as you breathe out, we're going to kind of push them almost together. Don't let them touch, though. Feel that? That heat between your hands? Let's breathe in. And let's breathe out. Breathing in. And breathing out. Now let's hold the hands right here. About three or four inches apart. Let's breathe in. As you breathe out, I want you to reach up with your left hand and down with your right. Then breathe in. Bring the hands together. And breathe out. Now, sometimes what we like to do is also, if you want, you can energize your legs. Bend your knees. As you breathe out, and that left hand goes up, stretch. Then breathe in, sink into your knees. And breathe out, stretch. Let's do that again. Breathing in, kind of sinking in the knees maybe a little. Breathing out, stretch. Let's do one more. Breathing in. And breathing out. See how I'm bobbing up and down like a cork on the ocean? You can do that too. Let's bring the hands to the chest. Let's do a little more of these. Sinking in the knees this time. Let's breathe in and float up. Straighten up. Float the fingers toward the ceiling. Breathe out. Sink down. Again, breathing in. Rising. Breathing out. Sinking. Now, if you have bad knees, we don't want to do that, do we? Just leave your knees relaxed. Breathing in. And breathing out. Let's bring the hands up to the middle of the chest. Can bend those knees as we're breathing in. We can straighten arms out to the side. We can breathe out. Breathing in. See how slow and soft everything is? Want to keep it there. Breathing out. One more time. Breathing in. And breathing out. All right, my friends. Let's turn those hands, palms into the chest. We'll breathe in. And breathe out. Now, the other thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that our waist, our lower back, and our hips are warmed up, okay? Because we are going to be using that to motivate our hands during our class. Let's try this. Arms at your sides. Turn your right palm. That's that one. Good job. Let's turn that toward the screen. Now, I want you to turn that belly button towards your 10 o'clock. Breathe in. Lift that right hand up. Turn that hand over. Breathe out. And then over to the right corner with that left hand. Turn the waist. Breathing in. And breathing out. See that? Let's do it again. Breathing in. And breathing out. And breathing in. And breathing out. Now one more here. Breathe in. And breathe out. We're going to do one more little warm-up. Okay? So we're going to bring our left hand, palm up at the belly. Right hand low to the side. Take your left foot out to the side, and all you want to do is turn your waist over here toward about 10 o'clock, not all the way out to the side. Let's draw that right hand in, that left hand palm down, and turn the waist, come across. Notice I'm not moving my arm, am I? I'm moving from my waist. That's going to help me just be relaxed. Now, am I shifting my weight? Sure, I can feel it on the outside of my left leg right now. And then I'm going to come back. It's going to be on the outside of my right leg. Kind of nice, right? We're just floating along. And again, this little section, which each of our videos will begin with, is just there in case you want to wake up in the morning and play just this much. Let's do one more over to the left. And I say the morning because that's when we need to enliven the body, kind of wake us up a little bit, right? That most of the time. Step that left foot in. As close as you can to your right, and push down. There's our warm-up. Now we're going to shake it out. Now again, in today's class, for the next 50 minutes, we're going to go through two separate series of movement. All right. Now if you've been in class with me at SCC, 
The first one, in fact, the first two that we do are movement series that you've already done. However, we're being mindful of the fact that we're gonna be moving toward each other and away from each other, right? There's only so far we can go. So these little series of movements have been augmented with movements to move us away from each other, all right? I'll explain what I mean by that as we get going. All right, so our first movement series for this next about 30 minutes or so, 20 minutes or so, is a little thing called Tai Chi Gong. All right, and this is the very first series of movements that I taught here at SCC when I started, oh, so many years ago, all right? So I'm gonna step back away from you guys just a little bit. Don't worry, I'm getting tiny, but you guys, you can put me on full screen. You'll be able to see me, I promise. All right, you ready? Feet together. Now remember, there's your left, there's your right. Other than that, let's relax. And as we move, I'm gonna give you some basic principles about what Tai Chi, how we move in Tai Chi, just in case you've never done this before. Feet is together as you know how to get them. So what does that mean? My feet are together, do yours have to be? Uh-uh. You wanna put those as close together as you can and just be as relaxed as possible. And now, to make sure that our mind connects to our body, we're gonna just do a little, kind of a ritual, I guess. We're gonna take a little bow. Float those hands up as if you're offering me a gift and I'll offer you a gift in return. Let's bring those hands prayerfully into the chest and let's take a bow. Feel that body bending forward? Now as I bend back up, I'm gonna breathe in. Ah, I'm gonna breathe out and lower my hands. Now let's go ahead and start our routine by stepping out with our left foot. And we're gonna begin with our hands on the front of our thighs. And this is called a commencing form. We float up. And then we let the fingers float up toward the ceiling and then we float back down. We only do that once. That tells the body that we're beginning our Tai Chi. Palms up at your belly, and I want you to trace you on the outside of a circle to the bottom of your chest. Let's go up toward 10 o'clock. Let's look that way, step out on that left heel, and we're gonna push forward, letting the hands just kind of glide out a little, and then rock back. Now, as you're rocking back, you're putting the weight on your right foot, and if you want, you can raise your left toes. But watch this again. As I go forward, my feet stay flat. I'm not pushing off that back foot. Roll back. And I'm also keeping very tall. I'm only five foot five, so I gotta be tall. I'm keeping my head up, my back straight. You'll hear me say the words that there's nothing to reach for, so I don't wanna see anybody out like this. Keep your head up, keep your back straight. When you move in Tai Chi, you push from your belly, from your hips. Roll back. Rocking forward. And floating back. This is called calming the waters of the heart. Let's do one more here. Now I'm gonna make you a promise, whatever we do onto our left foot like this, we're also gonna do on our right foot. So let's go up to our 10 o'clock. Let's pick that right foot up and step it out and let's slide across. Now you're gonna shift that weight to that right foot, adjust your left foot, and then you're gonna pull around and back. The image I get when I calm the waters of the heart is of having a beautiful chest high table. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push across that table and then go around the edge with my palms down. Do one more with me. Coming forward. And roll it back, feel good? Now let's try a new move here. As you're going into your right leg, turn your right hand palm up and bring it into your belly. Bring your left hand over top like you're holding a ball. And step up parallel with your left foot. Shift your weight to the left and just turn your belly toward that 10 o'clock. Gently, gently, turn the ball over. Put your left hand over your right, slide over to your right, and turn the body. Left hand on top. Notice that I'm not moving my arms till I get all the way over on one foot, I'm on my left. Then the right hand goes on top and I'm going to my right. Also notice, my elbow's not out here, is it? No pressure up there, is it? It's down here, let's come across to our left. And then we'll go back to our right. Now we're gonna get fancy. You guys ready to get fancy with me? Let's bring that left hand on top. Step out with that left foot towards your 10 o'clock. Now you'll notice your ball's about over your bent left knee. Bring that right hand on top, slide back, and also turn your waist back to your right hip. Coming 
forward into that left corner and then coming back onto that right corner. Let's do one more. Forward and coming back. All right, my friends, let's do this. Let's take our left foot, since our weight's on our right, and step it back to the side and come across to our left. Put that right in on top, stepping out with that right foot. Now we call this move circling the globe. That's kind of fancy, isn't it? Most of my students just refer to this as rolling the ball. That's all it is. We're rolling a ball. Going out, rolling it over, and coming back. All right? Let's do one more. Come out, floating, being real slow, coming back. And then we'll put that right hand on top, and we'll step that right foot back. Now, as we come across, my friends, I want you to bring your fingers together, and over here on your right, I want you to push your right hand down towards your left, leave a space. We're gonna step out with our left foot on the heel. As we transfer the weight, we're gonna perform a move called parting the wild horse's mane. We're just gonna lift up an apple, right there at about chin high. Now I'm gonna start walking toward you, and you're gonna start walking toward me. Weight's on our left. Let's pull back to our right. Take that right palm forward and swing it up. Weight's on your left. Put your left hand over your right and step out with that right foot, sliding out, holding up the apple, parting the horse's mane, or the wild horse's mane, whichever. Let's bring that left hand up, fold the right hand over. Let's do it again. We'll step out, and out we'll go, right there. Rocking back, rocking forward. Let's bring that right hand up, step out to our two o'clock, and out we go. Good. You guys want to do a couple more? Let's do a couple more. Left hand out. Stepping out. Right there on that left corner. And I think we're just about ready to lose my, the bottoms of my feet. I don't want you to do that. Let's do one more on the right. Stepping out to that two o'clock and out we go. Now, my friends, let's open our fingers as we rock back. As you rock forward, once again, make me a ball. Top elbow down, left hand on top, and step up parallel with that left foot. Coming across. Now, I promised you that we were going to learn to walk backwards too, didn't I? So let's step in with that left foot and push down. And the move we're going to use, you're going to see this a number of times in the series, let's lift these hands up and turn them over. We're going to step back with that left foot and we're going to lean back, push down. Then we're going to rock forward and pull up into our chest and then we're going to push down and we're going to bring that right foot in. Hands up, turn them over. Step back with that right foot, push down. So we'll rock forward, we'll pull up, and then we'll push down, we'll bring the left foot back. Okay, let's do the left foot again. Ready, your left foot, stepping back. There you go. Weights on your left, and then pull forward. Now you'll notice my feet stay flat, and then I'm gonna push down, I'm gonna bring that right foot in. All the movement in our Tai Chi, happens in our hips and our belly and our lower back. Stepping back right, pushing down, rocking forward, and pushing down. Now, feet together. I want you to bring those hands up to your shoulders like you give up, you surrender, right? Let's take our left foot and we're gonna step it forward from the hip and we're gonna push down as we rock forward. Then we're gonna push the hands forward and pull back. Imagine standing on a beach Watch the water. The waves recede, the water recedes from the shore, goes back into the ocean. Here come the waves rolling back. We call these wave circles or waves of the universe. You're gonna see these later in a new way. Rolling back. Let's rock forward now. And we'll do one more, rolling back. See the elbows pointed toward the floor? That's nice, that makes sure the shoulders are relaxed. Let's leave the weight on that left knee now and let the arms float up. Now we're gonna turn our waist to the right, kind of sink our weight back into our right foot, take that left foot to the side, and we're gonna pull across toward about 10 o'clock. That puts the weight in your left foot. Come in and surrender, look at me. Weight's on the left, step that right foot forward, push down, and roll back. Rocking forward, and rolling back, good. Let's rock forward, we'll leave the weight forward, let the arms again float up and 
we're gonna turn our weights to the left. Take your weight back to your left, take that right foot to the side, come across, and push down by your right hip and bring that left foot in. Now, what we wanna do here is take our right palm and turn it forward, and we're gonna step our left foot to the side. We're gonna transfer our weight to the left as we make a big rainbow with this right hand. Now that right foot can go either next to your left or it can tuck behind it. You'll notice I'm knee behind knee. And then the left hand draws back. We're gonna lift up that left hand and push it over the back of the right hand all the way up to the elbow. That's called threading the palm or a snake's tongue. Now turn your left palm out toward me and make a fist. Bring it into your belly and then pull up in between and roll forward. That's called a circle fist or a back fist. Reach for the sky, open your hands, step that right foot out to the side, and the right hand comes all the way down. Look at this left hand. I'm gonna come down halfway, I'm gonna float across, I'm gonna step that left foot behind the right, I'm gonna bring this right hand up and push it out. Now that's a lot of movement, isn't it? That's pretty complicated. Let's make a fist, roll that right foot through. Let's do those two again, right? Here we go to our left, open. Stepping that left foot, left hand all the way down. Let that right hand relax below the chest. Float across to the left. Bring that right foot next to or behind your left and bring your left hand up. You should be able to see your palm as your little tongue of your snake goes out. And then you turn it out. You make a fist, you roll it in, up and over. Circle fist, then we open. Stepping. Right hand down, left arm across. Gonna step that left foot next to or behind our right, and then we'll bring the right hand up and we'll circle fist. Right there, feeling good? Feeling good so far? Let's open those hands and step that left foot to the side. Let your hands come down. Now take your right foot, bring it into your left, and take your right hand and bring it up toward the front of your left shoulder. Now take your left hand and touch it to your right, and we're gonna to go to 10 o'clock with our left foot. So we turn and step. Now before we lean into that left foot, got our weight on our right, we position our hands. Our left hand is palm out of our forehead, right hand at the chest. We're gonna lean in, make fists. We call that hit the tiger left. Now, push up. Ooh, bring that left foot in. Give a little push behind your hips and look to your two o'clock. Same move on the right foot, ready? Stepping out with that right foot. The right hand is palm out at the forehead, the left hand's at the chest. We're gonna lean in, make fists. Open those hands, pull them down this time. Bring that right foot in and push down. Take your left hand, palm up at your belly. Your right hand is low, like it's on the back of a German Shepherd on your right hip. Step that left foot to the side and just turn your waist. Turn that right hand palm up, that left hand palm down, and turn your waist. We did this earlier in our warm-up, remember? This is called turning in water, also known as feeling the energy. Now let's go over to our right, and we're gonna do a little variation of that. We're gonna bring the right hand up to the shoulder and push across the chest to the left, switch the hands, and push to the right. Push to the left, Right hand palm up, left hand by your shoulder, push to your right. Now, here's a fun one called grasping the bird's tail. Take that left foot out to the 10 o'clock and push to the corner with your right hand. Turn your right hand palm up, bring your left hand over. Pull down and back. Left hand at your belly, gonna push with your right. Right hand palm up. Just imagine having a bird's tail feathers. Just run through your fingers. One more. All right, so then we're gonna push and we'll bring our left hand up and our right hand into our belly. Step out with that right foot, or push with the left hand and palm up and pull back. Ready, here we go again. Push, pull back. One more, push. Left hand palm up, right hand over, pulling back. Now as we push, let's take our right hand out, nice and low, left hand into the belly, step up parallel. 
Now, we're getting close to the end of our little form here, but we're gonna bring our left hand in, touch the left palm, and push to the left. Now turn your left palm out, and with your right hand, grab an imaginary bow and arrow, bow string. We're gonna pull it all the way across, leaning to the right, and open. And slide back to your left, touch the right palm, push to your right. Right palm out, left arm across. Focus the arrow, we call this. Touch that left palm, push. This is derived from a very old Qigong movement called opening the bow. Beautiful little sweeping side to side move, isn't it? Let's push over to the right, pull back. Let's do two more. Touch that left palm, push to your left. Draw back with the right. Sorry, I'm getting a little sing song, aren't I? Let's do one more over here on the right. Gonna push. Now, here's what I need you to do. Pull that left hand in, and with your right hand, flex your wrist down, touch your fingers to your thumb. Learn the name of this move, it's called a crane hook. We're gonna pull across and pull the crane hook in. The right hand goes out, or the left hand goes out to the side and it opens. Now we're gonna go back to our right, and as we do, the right hand goes out toward two o'clock. The left hand comes up into your chest, and we step that left foot out toward 10. This is called a single whip. We're gonna swing this left hand around in a circle so the palm is out, rock forward and push, okay? Rock back, as you rock forward, bring your hands to your left hip, palms face right. Let's step up parallel, push across. Now let's lift up a little pinch, a little crane hook in our left hand, right hands at your chest, step out. Gonna sweep that right hand around, rock forward and push. Single whip. Hands over to your right hip. Your palms will face left. Step up parallel and push. Two more. Lifting up on the right. Step and push. Step up with your right. We're gonna push. Left hand into your little bird beak. Right hand at your chest. Step out toward two o'clock and push, single whip. Now we're just about done, but what fun would it be if we didn't test our balance? Now your balance is what it is. Just push across the, from left to right and right to left with me. So as I do these movements, I want you to be comfortable and I want you to only raise your feet as much as you're comfortable with. Let's bring the left foot in. If you can, put your weight on your right and lift your left heel. Let's make two little bird beaks. We're gonna float them up. And if you'd like, you can lift that left foot and then open and push down. Let's take those hands over to the right. Step that left foot to the side, push. Gonna push over here. I'm gonna make you do one on your right foot too. And that'll be it. We're not gonna do a lot of these. Let's bring that right foot in. Ready? Lift it up if you feel like it. And then let it go, bring it down. And as you push across to your left and push back to your right, bring your left foot in. Push down. Let's raise those hands up as if we're offering a gift to a friend. Palms together. Take a bow. Now, just like with my class at Scottsdale, when we're halfway through the class, everybody gets a break. We're gonna take two minutes, I'll be right off camera, and then we'll go ahead and start with another series of movements, all right? Grab something cool to drink. If you need to, have a seat. We have two minutes.
Okay, how we doing? You guys all right? Let me get back into camera. Hi guys, I'm back. All right, so typically when we do a series of movements like that, now if you're viewing this on YouTube and you feel like, hey, that's enough, I just wanna work with that little series, you can stop here, you can go back to the beginning, and you can redo these movements, okay? And that way you can go ahead and do that same program. It's a 30, about a 30 minute program. You can do that over and over again. Now what we're gonna do for you is give you another about 20, 25 minute program using another series of movements. So if you wanna do a full 50 or 55 minute class, you're gonna go ahead and have two separate series of movements, okay? And the movements are, are basically, it's the same principles. We wanna make sure the body's relaxed, we never want to have the knees locked. We always want them bent. We always want a nice, tall countenance, right? And we always want things just to relax and we want to flow. So we want everything soft and flowy. This next one is a good one for soft and flowy. All right, we're going to do a little thing. This was the second series of movements that I did for, uh, for SEC. It's a little thing called crane dancing qigong. All right, now once again, Due to our space constraints, about five feet, six feet in front of our screen, forward and back, in order for me not to disappear, okay, I'm going to be moving forward, I'm going to be moving back. So the actual form is a little bit different, but nonetheless effective. You ready? I'm going to step back just a little bit. Alrighty. So once again, we're going to begin with those feet together. We have kind of a, a special little... Uh, sort of a ceremonial bow that we're going to do to begin this series of movements. So start again in this position here. Arms away from the body, relax the knees, tuck your chin in. This, st this stance right here is called Uji, W-U-J-I. Imagine the final seconds before the Big Bang. Just moments before it happens, that's Uji. It's just the emptiness, no boundaries, just getting ready to move. Ready? We say the crane awakes with a flutter of wings. So we'll give our wings a shake and we'll bring them down. Bring those hands up into a prayerful pose. And we'll take a bow. Opening out. Now again, we're gonna step our left foot, your left foot, up to the side. And we're gonna begin by doing just a little bit of breathing. Cross your arms with your left hand nearest your body and uncross and breathe in. Float those hands out to the side and as high as you can up overhead, then turn them in towards your forehead and breathe out. Let's do another one. Now let's say you can't raise your hands up that high. That's okay. Breathe in. Breathe out. Okay? You make these moves your own. You work within your own body. One more time. Breathing in. Now this time as we breathe out, we're gonna come down on our left side. And we're gonna step that right foot out to the side. That left hand is palm up, right hand palm down. Now with you were with us for our other series, you recognize this move. This is turning in water. Right hand in and left hand palm down. Coming across. To our right, or to our left rather. And then as we come across to our right, we're gonna bring that left foot in. Pull those hands in, push them down and turn them palms up. Touch your fingers to your thumbs. Remember those crane hooks? Those are called crane hooks. We're gonna float them up. Now you got one crane looking left, one crane looking right. As soon as they see each other, love at first sight. They fly away, pull down. Now for our next move, we're gonna step forward toward each other with our left foot, and we're gonna go ahead and take the fronts of the arms, the tops of the arms, and push them out, and then bend them toward each other, back of the hands toward each other. Then palms to palms, we wanna roll back past the waist. Come forward with me. This is called crane stretches wings. Now again, don't lean. Keep your back straight, pushing with your chest, right? And then pulling back, all right. So let's do this. Let's come forward with our right foot because any movement that we do onto our left foot, we also do onto our right. Let's step forward with that right foot. Push and pull back. Coming forward.
forward and pulling back. Coming forward. Now let's go ahead and bring those feet as together as we can. Pull the hands in and push them down to your hips. That's called a close. So when I say close, that's what we do. Let's bend our right elbow and we'll touch it. We're going to step our left foot to the side. We're going to turn and push all the way out to our 9 o'clock. Then the left arm floats out of the way. The right arm draws across the chest to the right. And then we're wide open. Now we swing back to our left. Touch that left elbow. We push to our right. Right arm out, left arm across. This is called push and stroke heart. So here we go, push. And with your right hand, stroke the arm and heart. One more time. Coming back to the left, touch and push. And stroke arm and heart. Now let's imagine we've got these beautiful wings. We'll turn those palms down, float our wings down. We'll lean to the right, bring that left foot in. Now we're gonna start moving toward each other, doing a movement called a single crane. What the heck is that? Let's bring that left hand over to the right and touch the palm. We'll step that left foot forward and we're gonna push. Then we wanna make a little pinch, a little bird beak. Turn to your right. See that little crane hook in your, in your right hand? Now turn those palms and push them out. Push them towards your screen. Step up with your right foot and that is a single crane. Let's do one with the other hand and foot. Let's go uh, right hand, so we'll touch that palm. We'll step the right foot forward and push. Drawing back, open and push. Feet together. Now, to make sure we have enough room, well, I'm gonna back you up a couple of steps. Let's pull the hands up and turn them over. Step back with your left foot, and as you're leaning back, push down. We did this one in our other series. This is called pushing down and up. Weights in your right, weights in your left, right foot's in. Lift the hands, turn them over, step back right, push. Pulling up, pushing down. Now let's try forward and back again. We go forward with a single crane, touch your left palm, step forward and push. Little crane hook in the right, bending back to the right, and pushing forward. Stepping in with that right foot. Gonna bring that right hand up and touch and step that right foot forward now. Bending back to the left, left hand's into your bird beak. Open those palms, push them toward your screen and bring your left foot in. Single crane left, single crane right. Then palms up, step back left, push down. Pull up, push down, bring that right foot in. Lift the hands and turn them over and step back with your right, push down. Pull up into your left knee, feet flat, and then push back and bring your left foot in. Let's take our right hand up here and push it off to the side. Take your left foot, step out to the side, turn your waist and swing your right hand up with the palm in toward your chin. Turn to your right, and push that hand down and swing it across. Cross here to your right. Now push that hand down into your right side. Lean left, push out with your left, come across. These two hands are called cloud hands. We go across to our left. Swinging down. Now actual cloud hands has both hands moving at once. Ready? Left hand at your chin, weight's on your right. Right palm is forward. Turn to your right, or turn to your left, excuse me. Push down with your left, bring that right hand in, and turn to your right. Push down with your right, bring the left hand up, and turn to your left. Left hand down, right hand in, turn to your right. Now, as we turn to our left and right, we're going to go into our next series of movements, and we're going to be focusing on 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock. So as you go to your left, bring your right foot in. Pull the hands into your chest and push down. And we're gonna rise those hands up, step out to our, right, our left corner. We're gonna push out to that corner and come across to our right. Pull the hands around, almost like you're going across like a round table. 
These are called heart circles. We're going to go around that table. Now, let's pull those hands in and look into that left corner. We're going to surrender, and then we're going to push down. Now, in an earlier series, we did this straight ahead. Roll the hands up and in. These are called waves of the universe, or wave circles. We'll roll up and in. Let's do one more. Push down, roll up and in. Now, how in the world can we do the same series on our right leg? I'll tell you how. Grab a little balloon at your knee and bring it up to your right shoulder. We're going to come down to our right hip and across. Lift up on that left side, come across again, and set down. Let's go hands up. Now we want to step our right foot out toward 2 o'clock. That's that right diagonal corner. Turn your waist and kind of take your weight across to your left. Hands are at the chest or lower. They're not up here. Coming across. One more time. Ready? And across. Now we'll come in and surrender again. We'll look into that 2 o'clock, that right corner, and we'll push down. And then we'll roll up in and back. Rocking forward. Rolling up in and back. Gonna rock forward. Now let's go ahead, make a ball, bring it up into that left shoulder. This is called carry the ball to the side. We also call it passing the lantern, like a Chinese lantern. You can set those hands down, and I want your hands palms up, and I want you to step your left foot out to the corner, 10 o'clock. As you rock forward, imagine you're rocking forward and lifting up, catching a balloon to about eye level, and pull that balloon down and then pull it back. This is called going up to the mountain. Rocking forward, pulling back. One more. Now, we got another move we're gonna do over here at our 10 o'clock. Palms up at your belly. Imagine you're tracing around a large ball. At the top, put your left hand over your right. Then let those hands float back into your shoulders. And as you rock forward, imagine you're reaching down to, imagine you're lifting up a soap ball with, your, with the fingertips and then let it float away. It's called going down to the valley. Rocking back, lifting up, and open. One more. And open, okay. So now, we'll bring a ball up into that right shoulder, left foot to the side, we'll come across. We're gonna lift up on that left shoulder, come across to your right, set down, same move, so palms up, Weight goes a little to your left, so you can step that right foot toward 2 o'clock, and then we rock forward, and we catch, rolling back. Going up to the mountain, and rolling back. One more. Right like that. Now, let's go around that big ball again. At the top of the ball again, your left hand over the top of your right, and then uncross your shoulders. With your Eyes tilted down, we're going to kind of push forward with our hips and then lift that soap bubble up as we rock back and open. We don't want to look down because we don't really want to bend our body in that way. We don't want to lose this good posture we have. We want to kind of look with our peripheral vision. Watch those hands float up into it. Now, let's go ahead and make a ball. Bring it up into that left shoulder and come around. Lifting up, coming across, setting down. My friends, palms up, stepping out with that left foot. I'm going to poke your fingers to the corner and come across. Imagine you're, you're offering to someone, you're giving something to somebody. And then palms out, coming around that circle, and we're going to flatten our hands. So palms up, we call this giving and releasing. There's our give. And then we have our palms out, and we flatten to release. Let's do that one more time. Poking the fingers out to the corner and across. And palms out. And as you come across, you flatten those hands, grab a ball, bring it into your right shoulder, left foot to the side, and across we go. Let's come across to our right. We'll set down. Let's do that same move, lifting up. Stepping out with that right foot, come forward and across. And palms out, gonna come across and flatten. Palms out, coming across. Palms out.
comes out. Come across and flat. Let's do that one more time. Palms up. This is a good exercise for your wrists. Come across. Palms out. And as we flatten, stop. Pull in with your right foot. Now, a while ago, we did a thing called a single crane. Let's do another one of those. Left hand, touch the palm, and step your left foot forward and push out. Now, for a single crane, your right hand floats up and makes that pinch, and you bend back to your right. Now, we're going to do a double crane. So, we're going to close the fingers, both of them, rock forward, pull the hands up toward your chin, toward your shoulder, and then push back down, open forward, and push. That's a double crane on the left side. Okay? So, now, Right hand, right palm, and right foot, push. Little bird beak in your left, or in your left, and another one in your right. Gonna pull up and in, push down and back. That's a double crane. And then we push forward into that right leg, and we bring the left foot in, and we close. Now to get backwards, we're gonna bring the hands up to our shoulders and step back with our left foot. Now as you're kinda taking your weight back, allow your arms to just Reach out, palms up as you rock forward, into that right knee, the hands swing down and up into the shoulders, and then you push again and bring the right foot in. So I think of this move, which is called circle back, touch back. We'll step back with that right foot, push. And as we circle down and circle up, and then we push and bring that left foot in. Now let's go ahead and do those double cranes again. Left hand, left palm, and left foot push. We're gonna throw two steps forward, a couple of steps back. So there's one crane up. Here's our second crane in our left. Pull up and in, push down and back. Look at me, push forward. Step in with that right foot. Here we go, right hand. Right palm and right foot forward, push. Little crane hook in the left, one, <coughs> excuse me, in the right. Pulling up and in, pushing down the back, and pushing forward. Now again, the name of the move to get back is called a circle back, touch back. What do I mean by that? Stepping back with the left, the hands extend. It's almost like you're pushing away from the dinner table. I'm full. Come forward, hands up, weights in your right, and when we touch back, we bring the right foot back. We don't really put it all the way down. We leave a little weight on our left because we're going to step that right foot back. Push. Circling forward, and push. Down we go. Now we're gonna, again, test our balance a little bit to end our form. Step forward with that left foot. Stretch those wings like we did so long ago, palms facing each other, and bring them back to the side. Now let's step the left foot to the side and give our wings a little, sh a little flutter, a little shake. Bring that right foot in with the heel up, and if you'd like to, lift up, Raise the right knee. Remember this one from before. Stepping forward right. If you were with us for our Tai Chi Gong, our first half hour, then you know where we're going with this. Little flutter here. Bring that left knee up. Right there. Let's step forward. That left foot. Floating across to our left. Right foot in. One more time. We'll raise up. And down we go. Let's step forward right, little stretch. And to the side. Feet together, my friends. We're going to cross our arms with our left hand nearest our body. And then we're going to uncross and make a big circle. Now pull your left hand toward your heart and follow it with your right. And come down. And again. Left hand in, followed by right. Now, I want you to reach up and grab a balloon overhead. We're gonna go ahead and end our class today with just a little bit more Qigong. Let's breathe in and breathe out. See how close we can get those hands. That's pretty good. Breathing in, breathing out. Now this time as we breathe in, let's step our right foot out to the side. Breathe out, let's make a ball. As you breathe in, you're gonna push that ball up to the ceiling and then you're gonna breathe out. You're gonna come down to your sides. Turning forward, we're gonna lift, breathing in. Turn those hands over and breathe out. Let's do another one of those, that was kinda of fun. 
Push the ball up, breathing in. And breathing out. Now, if you've been with me for the whole class, congratulations, because it's a heck of a lot of Tai Chi you just did. Breathing in, breathing out. But if you've been with us for the, la the first or second half, it's okay, because really, it's all good. Breathing out. Let's bring the hands, palms up under the belly, and we'll breathe in and breathe out. Now, every class that we have here at SCC, breathing in, breathing out, pushing forward, we always end the class with this little tiny ritual. And we're going to go ahead and do that right now. Breathing in, breathing out. As we breathe in, we're going to turn our palms away from us. And as we breathe out, we're going to come down, cross the arms, left hand nears the body, and uncross. Breathe in. Go all the way up over your head, cross, uncross, breathe out. Cross, uncross, breathing in. Bring the hands together. Don't move your feet. As you breathe out, pull those prayerful hands down. As you breathe in, we're going to open the palms and fingers like a flower blooming in our hands. As you breathe out, I want you to close your eyes. Get a beautiful thought in your mind's eye, a peaceful thought. And as you breathe in, welcome that beauty, that peace into your heart. As you breathe out, close your fingers into your palms, embrace it, open your eyes. And take a little of your peace, a little of your beauty, push it forward, breathe in, let it loose on the world as you breathe out. And we always have open hands and arms ready to help. We have open minds and open hearts, and until next time, Namaste, my friends. The spirit in me continues to honor the spirit in you. I'll see you soon.